Good, thank you. It is 501, and today residents at the Arden Villas are planning a rally for better security. Yeah, they say the complex needs to do a better job of protecting its tenants. And Fox 35's Amanda McKenzie, she's live for us outside the apartment complex in Orlando. And Amanda, we're also getting a look at that lease that all those residents signed. And now that those residents are going through the lease with a fine tuned tooth comb, some say they are outraged to find that the language is so broad and it does not require the complex to provide security. Now, take a look at a copy of this lease that an Arden Villas resident sent to Fox 35. It specifically addresses safety, saying in part, quote, the owner makes no representations or guarantees to residents concerning the security of the lease premises or the residential community and is under no obligation to residents to provide any security measure. It's not okay. It shouldn't be this way. Um, not even just this complex, but every complex should have security regardless of the situation. One attorney told Fox 35 that the wording of the lease is broad and vague, but typical. Arden Villas says they did run a background check on Armando Caballero, the only suspect in Mia's death, and that they found no history of burglary or sexual assault in his record. Residents are pushing for more security and have a change.org petition with more than 25,000 signatures. Happening later today, a protest is scheduled outside of the Arden Villas apartments. Reporting live in Orlando, Amanda. Mackenzie, Fox 35 News.